Hey guys, I wanted to start today's vlog chit-chatting with you all about how to reduce static and frizz in your hair because we're coming upon heater season. When we start turning on the heaters in the fall and winter time, the humidity in the air drops and that creates a lot of static and frizz. Plus our hair then becomes drier and more prone to breakage and split ends. So all year round, I use conditioner. And the reason conditioner is so important, especially if you have longer hair, is because when you shampoo, uh, the, shamp the act of shampooing deposits a negative charge on the hair shaft. And so then the hairs kind of repel each other and that's why you get more static. And when using a conditioner, it kind of neutralizes that negative charge. But beyond using a conditioner, the other thing that I incorporate into my hair care routine pretty frequently, especially in the drier months, is a deep conditioning hair mask. I do it at least a couple of times a week, uh, sometimes three, three nights a week, um, if I remember. It really helps. And you guys know my absolute favorite hair mask uh, is the one by Function of Beauty. A portion of today's video is in partnership with Function of Beauty. What made me want to try Function of Beauty was that it's a completely customizable experience in terms of buying hair care products. You can put in your hair type and your specific hair goals, and then you can also select the scent of your products, as well as choose whether or not you want to have a color. And I Probably one of my favorite things, and this is just a little added perk, is that your orders come with stickers. You all know I love my stickers. Look how cute they are. They're always adorable, and each order, they have a, a unique sheet, so you never, you're not getting the same stickers each time. I love that little added touch. My goals are always to fix split ends, which is an issue with longer hair, and shine and volume. I love that. You can choose that. They have up to 18 different hair goals that you can pick from. Getting back to the seasonality of your hair care needs, the other thing I like about Function of Beauty is that you can go in and change up your hair goals. So as we approach the winter months, you may be wanting anti-frizz. What sets Function of Beauty apart from just going to the store and picking up a random bottle of shampoo and conditioner is that it's completely customizable. They are number one in terms of customizing your hair care products. They have 54 trillion different combinations. So it's the best value and the best way to get hair care products specific to your hair type and hair goals. And you guys know how hard it can be to find fragrance-free shampoos and conditioners that address your specific hair type and hair goals. And with Function of Beauty, that is possible. Function of Beauty is also vegan and cruelty-free and there are no sulfates. I know a lot of you guys find that sulfates are very drying to your hair type. Yeah, so I did the mask last night and I'm always super impressed with how shiny my hair is. And of course, Function Beauty is more than just shampoo and conditioner. I already mentioned the fact that I am a huge fan of their mask, but you can also get customizable uh, other additional add-ons to your hair care routine if you just want to take it to that extra mile. You can get a custom leave-in treatment, a serum. Definitely check them out, you guys. I am like their number one fan. <laughs> I have been using their hair care products for over a year now, and seriously, it's the best. I am a bit of a hair care junkie, and I've tried out many expensive salon brands, and the value here is, is unmatched. They have offered you guys a discount. You can get 20% off your Function of Beauty order if you click the link in my description box. So definitely check it out. Uh, I highly, highly recommend their hair care products. 100%, they are amazing quality. Well, hey guys, I am on my way out to Costco. One other thing I wanted to say about reducing frizz is that um, when you, uh, heat style your hair, that's another reason to consider using like a leave-on treatment, like a leave-on conditioning treatment if you're someone who blow dries your hair because blow drying your hair can actually make it drier, obviously, <laughs> uh, and more prone to you to frizz and static. When I lived in Colorado, the static in my hair always got on my nerves. I uh, never seemed to be able to stay on top of that. But back then, I don't think I was using any kind of conditioning mask. I was just using like regular conditioner and I think that would have helped a lot. So yeah, um, the heat styling thing could definitely add to the static issue. 
and definitely adds to hair breakage. Try and try and reduce the heat styling. And when you bl if you do blow dry your hair, make sure you're like continually moving the dryer around. That kind of helps redirect the heat and not focus it too much on like one particular area at any given time. So that can really help. And then I find that wearing the um, silk or satin sleep bonnet makes a huge difference as well because um, silk especially helps keep your hair shaft um, from getting as dry. It helps retain, it helps with retaining moisture in the hair shaft. I find that helps a lot. Plus, you know, as you're moving your head back and forth on the pillow, it's less friction on the hair shafts, less frizz. Having a silk pillowcase, I do think makes a huge difference as well um, if you're not using a bonnet. But the bonnet, in my opinion, is, is a really good way to go for your hair. The pillowcase, the silk pillowcase helps more with like keeping your skin smooth and whatnot. So yeah, that's another little tip. Anyways, as I mentioned, I am on my way to Costco and I am, I'm going to do, I need a lot of stuff. I am out of a lot of my uh, staples. I finished my frozen green beans and I want to get more of those. I'm almost finished with those two bags of cranberries I bought several weeks ago. So I may get more of that. Hopefully they are still there. And I want to buy some Christmas decorations. This morning I did a Tone It Up arms workout and I'm definitely feeling it. You know, that Tone It Up app, it has just been, I've just been loving it. I need to make uh, another couple of, I want to make some more recipes from the app. Um, they have some good looking savory dishes. I haven't tried any of them, but a lot of them are vegan friendly, which I like. I am totally decked out today in all Costco clothing. I mean, typically I am, but today I'm going, I'm going all the way. I'm wearing an Eddie Bauer cardigan uh, from Costco. I'm wearing a 32 degree um, t-shirt from Costco, and I'm wearing a 32 degree skirt from Costco. My shoes and socks, my socks are from Costco. My shoes are not. Um, my underwear is from Costco. <laughs> my bra and underwear are from Costco. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? They had, the clothing at Costco is really good quality. Well, not, it, it varies in quality, but most of the clothing is really good quality. I tell you, November is flying by already. Time flies when you're doing administrative tasks. Isn't that all adulthood is? Speaking of which, I um, had to, every, I can't remember how many years it is, like every five years, I want to say, I have to re-credential, like refresh my credentialing um, through work. And it's like this application that you have to fill out. And it's just like kind of tedious information that you have to put into this document. And so I did that this week and it's like, why do I need to always be updating this? Plus you have to list out like if you've had any, like they're always on these um, credentialing applications and reapplication, you know, renewals or whatever. They always ask you all of these questions like, have you ever been convicted of a felony? And uh, have you ever been on probation for, have you ever had your license put on probation? Have you ever had your DEA registration revoked? Like all of these kinds of things. And it's like, I don't know, I, like we have to attest to that, but it seems like if you've had those things happen, then they would probably know about it already. I don't know. So yeah, I had to fill that out. One thing people don't understand at all about medicine is how much of an administrative nightmare it can be. Like the administrative burden is high in medicine, very high. I don't think people realize the amount of paperwork that goes into, into seriously having your blood pressure checked. I mean, like the number of boxes that have to be clicked and forms that have to be submitted, like just for showing up at the doctor's office, it's insane. Insane in the membrane. I don't know if this is a joke or not. This car in front of me. You guys know those bumper stickers you can get for running a marathon or a half marathon? It's like a white oval and it says the mileage that you ran. <laughs> like, 
uh, 13.1 for a half marathon. This person has that sticker, but it just says 0.0. .0. That's <laughs> clever. Uh, I, that's another thing that this whole situation has just, you know, put a sudden end to is races. You guys know I am a runner. I love running and I love doing races. And I was really looking forward to doing the, that March race again that I did last year, but obviously that was not happening. And now the turkey trot that I do every year, which is just a small race distance wise, but I love doing, it's virtual. And I don't know, the virtual thing is kind of like, why not just say that you're doing a donation? I mean, I guess it's kind of cool in principle. You get the t-shirt, but yeah. Cause you know, races, most, a lot of races, the fee is, it goes to a charity. Well, at least in the case of the turkey trot, it goes to um, some, I think maybe a homeless shelter or something. I'm not, I can't remember, but yeah. So at least they'll still be getting the funds, but the whole idea of doing a race virtually, I mean, you're kind of on the honor system. And like, what do you do? Just like run on your treadmill and Thanksgiving. I mean, I'll probably do that anyways. Um, so yeah, comment below. Have you guys done any virtual races? Um, did you wear, that's the other thing. Do you wear your t-shirt and your number? Do they give you a bib number if you do a virtual race? Just put it on. It'd be cool if they gave you some kind of um it'd be cool if these virtual races see because now that these things are becoming more of a must-have it'd be cool if these virtual races had some kind of a um chip not chip but like some way some app or something that would sync with like maybe your phone or your garmin or whatever you run with so that it would give you a time because uh, when you pay to run a race a lot of times you get a chip in your bib that tells you your time, uh, you know, and it goes through those little, whatever, those little signals or whatever, and that's how they figure out what your race time is. Uh, so now that that's all being done virtually, they should have some kind of a thing where you could run with like your phone on you or something, although that's not the most accurate, um, so that you could get a time. That way you could, qual you know, because a lot of people run certain races to qualify for some of these bigger marathons. You need a qualifying time. So I don't know how they're going to think about bridging that gap. Hopefully sometime in the future we will go back to being able to have half marathons and marathons. Like the idea of no New York City Marathon this year, it makes me sad. I mean, it makes me sad. It's a good one. Uh, the crowd support is, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. The crowd support for the New York City Marathon is like, you feel like you are a champion. If you live in the New York area, I highly, highly encourage you to run the New York City Marathon. Well, I mean, obviously not now. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a life changing experience and I'm not being dramatic. Um, it... It, running that marathon, it forms some kind of a, I, I don't know, some kind of strong emotional attachment. It's just, I don't know, it's its as close as the everyday person can come to being like, a, feeling like an Olympian or something. That cross, the, I don't, I, I can't describe it, that feeling when you're coming through Central Park and like all of these people from, I mean, running through the whole city, all the boroughs and everything and just how everybody is out um, on the sidewalk cheering you on. I mean, it's a massive, massively populated city. So it's, the crowd support is just like, you really feel like a champion. In many ways, because of that, it's one of the easiest marathons to run, in my opinion, because you have that adrenaline going with, uh, with the race. Yeah. I've never run, I mean, I'm sure other cities have good ones. I haven't run like I know uh, Philly has one that's pretty good. And uh, the Boston, oh yeah, I'm sure nothing compares to Boston. That's one you've got to qualify for. And the qualifying time, if I recall, is pretty competitive. Um, so yeah, that's one you definitely have to qualify for. You have to be pretty fast. 
<sighs> we are here, you guys. I talked your ear off the entire car ride to the club. Hopefully I have enough battery power to get us into, into the club. If not, I mean, you guys know what it looks like in there. I don't know if they got anything new or what. Speaking of new, I swung into Crow Hair last night and I got two new Tuscany candle, uh, Tuscany, <laughs> Tuscany candle, Christmas candles. They are out and they were on sale. So I snagged two. I'll show you guys the ones I got when I get home. <laughs> This lady has got on, she's a Costco clothing wearer too. I can tell her pants are from the club, her shirt is from the club, and what I like most about her outfit, I'm not gonna put her on the internet without her consent, but what I like most about her outfit is that she's got, I mean, we're like going right behind her talking about her. She's got a UPF 50 Costco sun hat. Woohoo! you go girl. She doesn't know that she's getting applauded on the internet. Everybody clap your hands. All right now, can I get a place? Can I get a spot in the, in the interior? I like parking in here, somehow it feels safer. We've been having, unfortunately, an uptick. I mean, I think this is happening everywhere, but a serious uptick in crimes, so yeah. I uh, am on guard with that. I mean, unfortunately, Houston at baseline has a fair amount of crime that's being generous. Um, and now that so many people are down on their luck, desperate times unfortunately call for desperate measures and perhaps a lapse in character and more crime. So, gotta be careful. I feel like this was all the rage a few years ago, this rabbit electric wine set. It's here at the club for the low, low price of $19.99. Ooh, these are new. Over and back three-piece tray set. Highly recommend the Kirkland double-sided gift wrap. I bought this last year and I, uh, Still have, I, I didn't make a dent in it whatsoever. Um, as a matter of fact, I just pulled it out from my storage closet. So yeah, $12.99, very good quality. Ew, aren't these cute gift tags? I like that they have an assortment. It's like not all Disney, but there are a few Disney ones in there. It's really cute too. Currently, uh, now's the time to get your dinner jacket, uh, gents. U.S. Polo Association. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping Costco would have some kind of pink rib ribbon for my ballet tree. I want to kind of don it with a ribbon, but I'm not really seeing a good color pattern here. Whoa, the Shark IQ robot. Not only is it the robot vacuum, but it self empties. Wow. Hmm. $399.99. $400. I don't know, if you have a dog that sheds a lot, I think probably be super handy that I lectured you guys and blabbed the whole way over here about nan heat styling I am kind of intrigued by this Revlon one-step volumizer I've seen plenty of YouTube videos on it $44.99 here at the club comment below on if you guys have used this thing doesn't Dyson have one that's like a small fortune Wow, isn't this a great deal? $19.99 for the Diamond Baker's Box. You got chopped walnuts, chopped pecans, and slivered almonds. Slivered almonds can be hard to find. O-M-G. 
Michelin salted caramel gelato cake. Wow, that looks delicious. All right, from Costco, I got this big bag of frozen green peas. I love peas. They're actually a decent source of protein. Um, and I also got a big bag of green beans, two things of frozen rice cauliflower. I've already made my way through these two organics, classic yellow mustard. I am a big mustard fan. I also got two things of this organic spring mix. This stuff is so good with my fresh herbs thrown in. Thai basil really brings it all together in the mint. Oh, it's so good. I got mixed squash, gala apples, broccoli, cranberries, guacamole. These little packets are convenient because I don't eat it that frequently to justify making it myself, it, it'll just go bad right away. I don't eat enough of it. I eat about one of these packets worth in one sitting, so I like the little packets. Um, I also got some more Lacanto monk fruit sweetener. And then I got this ribbon I'm gonna put on my tree. Um, I was kind of hoping they would have some pink for the ballet tree, but um, I went with this for my main tree, so we'll see what I can come up with. Speaking of tree, as promised, these are the candles I got from Kroger. The uh, tree farm is so good. It's got a nice balsam and spruce scent. And then peppermint candy cane, they have this one every year, and it is amazing. It's my favorite, so I definitely recommend that one. And tree farm on whiff smells amazing. And for my main tree, I also got some ornaments, some more ornaments. I thought this would go well with that ribbon. 52, this was pretty inexpensive. These are the shatterproof type, which is good because I tend to knock things over and whatnot. But yeah, I like that it's all kind of the same theme of red and gold and white. Yeah, I think it's really gonna be pretty on my white tree once I get my act together and get everything set up. I went ahead and put my uh, winter pillowcases on, my little throw pillows. I got these last year on Amazon. <clears throat> Let me karate chop that. And I like them. They go with the kind of gray of my chairs. Well, hey guys, <laughs> I am gonna go to sleep now. Actually, I'm gonna read my Kristen Hanna comfort and joy book. I'm actually enjoying this, which doesn't surprise me. I love Kristen Hanna. She's one of my favorite authors. Um, this is a nice little get in the mood for the season type read. I got it at Costco, of course, a few weeks ago. Speaking of Costco, I'm wearing my new Carol Hockman robe, and it is just perfect. Yeah, this is a pretty nice robe. It's nice and soft. So I'm glad I snagged it. I saw they had a gray one there today. Anyways, guys, I am going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for coming along with me and listening to me ramble on and on. I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to check out Function of Beauty. You can get 20% off. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.